So this video will show how to add users to your Blackboard course. So first you have to be in a course in which you are the instructor and then you can scroll down to the course management area users and groups and then click on users and when you do that that'll list everyone who's currently enrolled notice everyone here is, is, is a, as a student so it lists who's there and their role within the class so let me show all to show you that these are all students and then uh, there's one instructor and that's me right now so if I want to add somebody I have to click on this button find users to enroll um, a mistake I make all the time is I click in this box and and enter somebody's name and don't get any results you know this box here actually is searching the current list of people who are enrolled if you want to add somebody new you have to go up here to this find users if you know the users blackboard username for a student it's their student ID for a faculty member it's their FCPS logon name um, you can just type it in if you don't know it you can click on browse and do a search and notice that by default the search says username contains well, I'm going to search by last name instead so I'm going to change this to last name contains and one of my colleagues is Spencer Jameson he is an elementary math specialist and I'm going to add search for him and add him to my course so go last name contains Jameson and I picked him because um, Spencer's first name is officially Thad so TS Jameson is him so he is the person I want to add to my course so I will check him but also notice I wanted to bring him up because this is him my colleague and these are two of his kids so I can tell these are FCPS K-12 students because their username is a student ID number whereas TS Jameson that's his FCPS username his email TS Jameson at FCPS.edu and then while I'm also here this person the username is an email address so this person William is a t uh, parent view account so I won't add that to my course and actually let me add his kids too and then I'll show you how I can delete those so I can select all three of these people and then submit so my colleague and his two children submit by default they're going to come in with the role of student if I wanted the, all, all three of them to come in with the role of instructor I could change that to that but I don't so that'll do student do I want to make them available submit and then those three people have been added to my class and then while I'm here so I've brought in his two kids let's leave them as students and let me make Spencer change the user's role in the course we will make him a co-instructor with me and submit and so all three have been added his role has been changed to instructor and actually uh, I'll do a different video where I show how to delete people from a course so this was the video that shows how to add and watch for a second video that shows how to delete.